good, I want to give you the definition of a state function. And a state function is essentially a thermodynamic variable which depends only in the current state of the system and not the path taken to reach that state, which is very awesome. If you saw last video about trajectories or paths, you might either take this path or this path. But a state function is a function that you can always measure independent of the type of process you're having. For example, pressure, temperature, enthalpy, density are values, are state function values. Even though, I don't know, maybe you choose this path, well, what's the pressure in number two? Well, you you're going to have the same pressure that if you use this path here. And the same with volume. And of course, volume is indirectly proportional to density, so you're going to have about the same proportions there. Enthalpy, I cannot explain you that much, guys, but I want you to let you know that the enthalpy is a state function. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.